Okay, the blade. Now the blade, what I'm going to do is take and divide it to 8. Okay. I'm going to back it down once. I'm going to polish it just a little bit. I'm going to turn on topology so I can see it polish. Okay, that'll help. That'll help support any change here, and it, see how it makes it really super cool and pointy. Uh, now, the blood groove is what I want to get after. So here's how that works. Okay, raise it all the way back up to eight. Hold Shift and Control, click here. Control, click anywhere else. Shift and Control again, and let's inverse that. Okay, and now I'm going to deflate this in just Z. Okay, negative 10. And all that did is put a little tiny groove in there. Now I want to make sure that didn't clip. So I'm going to undo that and maybe put a negative uh, 5 in there. Okay, it looks like it didn't clip, so I'll go a negative 4. And I'm just going to go investigating here. We're going to go with the initial negative 5. And that's it. Okay, let's clear that off. And there we go. We got that blood groove in there. Let's turn that off. And I'm just going to kind of touch it up right in this area so it fades into the blade a little bit more. So however you inserted those edge loops or how long the blade is or how straight the blade is, is going to kind of go in there. Another thing is, uh, let's first take the pivot point, set it, that way when I do do the, the smoothing up at the top, it smooths equally on both sides. There we go. And now we're going to have to blend all these forms together. And I do that in a much different fashion. I don't use subtools for this because I want all the pivot points to match. And eventually, anyway, I'm going to have to go into and do mapping for this. So we're going to handle this in another video because it does take a very long time to do the next part. It actually takes two videos to do it. Um, the one to get the prep and the other one to do the next step. So meet me in the next video. That's how you do the blade and see you then.